Well, we got problems, guys. It's 16 degrees outside and I have no heat. Hey, so this one's gonna be my fault. I apologize. I went to film a few clips today. I was talking, I was talking, I was talking. I noticed, hey, wait, the lens is shut. Turn it around, it says charge the battery. Noticed it was low yesterday. I figured I'd get another day out of it. I was very wrong. So if, uh, if there was enough recorded that I can keep it, you already saw it. And now I'm explaining. If not, welcome to day 1498, I think. So it's 1259 in the morning. Uh, it's two degrees outside. Feels like negative 13, I think. Uh, but it's nice and warm in here. I've spent the last couple hours relaxing finally. I did a bunch of college writing to work today. Got into my class this morning. Overslept the first one. Set seven alarms, woke up uh, an hour after the last one had gone off. When I'm that tired, I just wake up, turn the alarms off, go back to bed. I have no memory of it. I know for a fact I set them though. So we did that online, got caught up in that uh, from bed this morning. Um, yesterday, I had a Craigslist text about that leather briefcase down there. Somebody, actually a Kent State student, wanted it to carry uh, art, beak, something into it, to one of his classes. So I met him on campus today sold that, the Honda radio sold online, shipped that to Indianapolis today. And then the whole seven cents on that, it sold for a dollar. I had it listed everywhere for two months, nobody wanted it. Started auction on eBay at a dollar, somebody paid a dollar, $10 shipping, it cost me, including eBay fees, seven dollars, seven cents more to get rid of it than I got for it. But I regained that with the money I got from the briefcase. So at least they're gone, that's what I'm looking for at this point. Watched a little bit of House of Cards, watched uh, I'm kind of rewatching the series. I, I missed the show. And then I watched um, Crap. <laughs> Prison Break. They're, uh, they're still in Sona. So aside from that, um, did not get a call from Dave Walter today. I, well, I called them about 4 o'clock. I hung out on campus a little longer. Alex didn't have a class till like 3.45, so I drove him to his class and then went home. I was done with my lab at 3 o'clock. So I called Dave Walter, asked for an update. He said he was halfway down at three o'clock. He had the pump pretty much done. They hadn't started the filter yet. He was gonna to try to get the filter done by six when they close. If they didn't get it done, they were just gonna finish it up tomorrow, Thursday morning. Call me probably late tomorrow morning and then I'll pick it up at my earliest convenience tomorrow. So I should have the car back tomorrow. That's where that stands. Classes today, told you I skipped the first one. Second one's the exam. Missed the first one. Second one, not the exam, the lab for Fundamentals of Business Statistics. What a cluster, you know what that is. Usually it's the PC people that have all the problems that can't connect to Wi-Fi, they don't boot, they blue screen, they crash, they're too slow, they're too this, they're too that, they're too heavy, there's too much plastic. Today, not the case. I actually used a PC for about five minutes because the JDM or the JMP, the Jump 11 software for statistics management that uh, we use does not do XLSX files on OS X. For some reason, you need a, uh, some driver for that that I haven't found online yet for free. So I figured that out in about 20 minutes while everybody else was still trying to learn, trying to figure out how to install the application. So I just saved the file as a .xls. Then I was able to get back on my Mac and I was the only Mac that was up and running in there today. I'm gonna have to be the class hero next Wednesday and tell everybody, just make your files a .xls. But these people are clueless. They download a file, an installer file, and they're like, where to go? How do I open the application? You have to run the installer and then drag it to your applications folder. Why is that? These people have no idea. They installed Skype. They installed apps. I mean, you guys, some of you are Mac users, right? Do you know how to install an application? If you don't, you should reconsider using technology. Just my thought process on that. So, okay, I'm not gonna talk your ear off. It's one take. I know I hate those as much as you do. They're very boring for me to go and sit in bed in 10 minutes and edit these things, but I do. If I can't watch it myself, I'm not gonna make anybody else watch it. There was some other point I wanted to bring up and ask a question for you viewers, and I don't remember what that was. Something I was gonna mention, I don't know. We'll talk tomorrow on Thursday, hopefully get the car back. I'm gonna do the classes from online. Brandon should be coming over tomorrow night. Maybe we'll get some food, hang out, and then we're done with the week. I have next Monday off as President's Day, so that'll be nice. Speak with you tomorrow. Good night.